अज्ञान तिमिरास ज्ञाना जनशला चक्षुन्मील तस्म श्री गुरव नम कर्पूर गौर करुणावतार संसार सार भुजगेन्द्र सदा वस हृदय भवि सहित ओं नम शंभवाय मयो भवाय नम शंकर मयस्क नम शिवाय भुजगतलगत घन सुंदर गरुर्वाहन भुजलोचन जलधिजाश्रित कलेवर भजत रे मनुज कमलाष्टकम ब्रह्म मुरारी सुराचित लिंग निर्मल भाषित शोभित लिंग जन्म जन्मशक देव मुनि प्रबलाचित
बोले माफी महादेव की जय बोले वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय पवन पुट महावीर स्वामी की आशक दुर्गा महारानी की जय पुराधा रानी की जय आदरणीय वंदनीय पंडित गण विप्र मंडली प्रिय सज्जनो प्रिय भक्त समुदाय महानुभाव मोस्ट वर्षिप पंडित devas devotees of the supreme lord the divine souls first let me say radhe radhe to each and every one and my pranam my humble prostrations to all of you very special welcome to our viewers and bhakti tv very special radhe radhe pranam to you too also a very special thanks to pandit satyanand maharaj of the satya anand ashram in arangwes and producer of bhakti tv thank you pandit ji for the wonderful work you doing again tonight is the sixth night of the shiv mahapuran yagna one more night tomorrow night we are celebrating mahashivratri We've been building up to this wonderful occasion, celebration of this greatest day of Shiv Bhagwan by all the devotees of Shiv Ji, as all devotees of the Lord. Who can understand who is Shiv? Impossible. If Shiv could be understood. by our material mind and intellect then our material mind and intellect will become bhagwan and shiv will be below our material mind and intellect so of course as much as we know the more will benefit about shiv and holy shiv and this will be here in throughout this yagna about shiv and the importance of worship in shiv bhagwan couple kathas we have been hearing about the glory of the panchakshar mantra also called shatakshar mantra two names for the same mantra one way it is called panchakshar mantra because there are five akshar syllables na ma shi va ya five so it's called panchakshar mantra but because mostly it is chanted with om in the beginning om namma om namma shivaya so it is also called shadakshar six syllable mantra means the same thing whether we call it panchakshar or shadakshar this mantra is very very dear we heard how dear this mantra is to shiv ji and the benefit of this chant in this shadakshar or panchakshar mantra Om Namah Shivaya This a little more is the more we understand this I keep saying when we do not understand the value of something then we don't benefit Labh nahi hota somebody gives you a ring and you don't understand difference between glass and diamond you think it's a glass some fake somebody went in dollar store and this 
It's your birthday and I just want to give you a gift. People say, they, is this thought that counts? It's the same among people. Not the gift, but the thought. So you thought uh, cheating. You ask a friend and the friend tells you, maybe $20 for the most. Actually, maybe $5. One day, someone comes to your home. And they see you have taken, because you don't care about it, you put it anyway. If someone steals it, you lose it, you don't care. And they ask you, where did you get that ring? Oh, it's my birthday and someone just gave it to me. Fake ring. So the person happens to be an expert jeweler. He picks up the ring and looks at it. He said, you sure? Yeah. Who would get me anything real? So he looks a little closely, then he goes by the window in the light, he looks and he takes the thing from the pocket and looks even more close. <laughs> he says, Beokuf, you fool, do you understand what you have here? I told you, most $20, I think $5 actually. Hey, this is a $50,000 diamond ring. Ooh, you might, have, might even get a heart attack. You run and grab the ring and put it in the finger. It doesn't come out, but doesn't pro no problem. Or you take it and put it in the safe and lock it away. Now your love and attachment for that ring has grown so many times. Because now it's a thing of value. So in the same way, the more we understand the value of this, we always say, okay, now we're going to do job. Om Namah Shivaya. When there is sometimes a practice to do job. And sometimes one mala, two mala, etc. Three mala. Going around the beads one time, normally there are 108 beads, Rudraksh. Mostly if you're doing Om Namah Shiv job. And there's no feeling, you just. It's like a, a hard work. But if we understand, like I said last night, if we, Shivji is saying to Parvati, O oh Divine Goddess, one should meditate on me, meditate on Shiva, visualize Shiva. And knowing that Shiva is sitting in the name Shiva, take the, the name, recite this mantra, how much more you will benefit how much bliss. You see, we don't understand. Ah, someone just tell us chant and we just chant without any feeling. And that's why we don't benefit. Most important, we have to meditate. Smaran. So again, we hear the glory about a little more about the Shiv Mantra, about this Panchakshara Mantra. Because as I said, the more we know, the more we will benefit. And some very important things we are going to hear tonight. Do we sing bhajan? Let's go into the katha. Namo Mahadevashamu Namo Sadashiva Jai Parameshwar, Jai Bhuvaneshwar, Jai Shiva Shankar.
जितने शास्त्र जितने वेद का ज्ञान है सब कुछ उन्होंने किया उन्होंने सुन लिया और उन्होंने पढ़ लिया और कुछ नहीं करना शंकर भगवान से ग्लोरी ऑफ दिस मंत्र ओम नमः शिवाय समन हु इज कमिटेड टू हिमसेल्फ विद द फेथ द शिव जी हिमसेल्फ दिस द फॉर्म ऑफ शिव जी दैट ही सिटिंग इन द नेम इन दिस मंत्र दिस मंत्र इज शिव जी हिमसेल्फ एंड डेली रेसिट रिसाइट्स दिस मंत्र रेगुलरली डेली विद लव एंड डिवोशन दिस मंत्र ओम नमः शिवाय he has attained all the knowledge of all the vedas and all the scriptures he has listened to everything he has done everything this all this is the end result of what all the scriptures are teaching to chant the name of the lord with love with the feeling and realization that god is in the name isliye jo bhi is mantra ko ye namah shiva jeev se बोलते हैं रखते हैं तो उसके पूरे जीवन सफल हो जाते हैं देर फॉर ही सेवर दिस मंत्र लॉर्ड इज सिटिंग इन द मंत्र हिज एंटायर लाइफ इज बिकम सक्सेस रीजन फॉर टेक एन बाथ हैज बीन सक्सेसफुल हे देवी वो देवी ने बोले बोले आप देवी पार्वती ने कहा हे भगवान हे स्वान एक युग आते हैं कल युग ये जो हम रहते हैं कल युग तो ये पापी लोग हैं इसमें बहुत पाप करते हैं जो भी करते हैं पाप पाप में है ये लोग गुरु जो कहते हैं वो नहीं सुनते हैं वो नहीं करते हैं मनमानी करते हैं बहुत लापरवाही है फिर है महेश्वर ये लोग ये संसार के सहसे कैसे तार सकते कैसे मुक्ति मिल सकती पार्वती नवाक्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन शी से माई लॉर्ड इन दिस एज ऑफ दिस कम इन विच इज कॉल कल यू वन द एज ऑफ कल यू दिस एज वी लिव इन दिस कल यू Told you, you be here all the time. There are four ages. The world goes in the cycle of four ages. First, there is Satyu, then comes Tetayu, then comes Dwapa, and then the age we live in, this Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga is four hundred to two thousand years, the length of Kali Yuga. Five thousand one hundred twenty-five years about has gone. Here about this Kali Yuga is now stopped. But it's a very bad age, and it gets worse. It doesn't get better until when it gets so bad, people will stop taking God's name. All the scriptures will disappear. All the sheep, all the Quran, everything will disappear. Stop with that. The gun is a look to buy. People will form new, new religion. Already, people are making new religions. There's a religion called Scientology. People created something of I must be based on some science. I don't have no idea. This new thing people form. They create new religion and end up killing themselves and all kind of foolishness. Cults. This will happen. Nobody follows anymore. And as the age goes on, it's going to get worse. We have no faith. This age is so terrible. It's covered with the with the darkness of evil. evil deeds in spite of the guru they meet saints but they don't listen to what the saints will say the gurus the true guru they do according to their mind man man guru ji says do this ah guru ji does not understand i will do like this if the worldly person is a guru he is blind you are blind so that's fine but the real guru when we meet the real guru we don't listen to him also we know no we have the faith that he is guru that he is saint that he is god personified yet we still don't follow his instruction we are careless lazy then o lord she says how can they be redeemed this is the fact of this age of people of this culture we are lazy we are careless we lack insight 
Even if someone tells us what to do, we will not do it. We do what our mind tells us. And we end up getting problem for that. But we, we will not listen. We will not listen. So, Bhagavan ne kaha ki hey Devi, jo log is kalyuk mein paida hoote hai, aur meri bhakti karte hai, to unka udhar ho, agar ye panchakshar mantra bolenge, karenge, aur meri bhakti karenge. Shankar Bhagavan replies to Parvati and says, O oh Devi, people born in kalyuk, even though they are not going to do the right thing, but if they have devotion for me, and they recite, they take refuge in this Panchakshar Mantra, Om Namah Shivaya. They will be redeemed. They will attain. Even because, even if it's Kali. Ah, I've told you before. The Bhagavad Mahapuran says, Kriteya Dhyayatu Vishnu Tetayam Yajato Makaihi Dwapare Parikal Paricharyayam Kalotadhari Kirtanat Srimad Bhagavad Mahapuran, 12th Kanto, 3rd chapter, 52nd verse. The Bhagavad Mahapuran says, That which is attained through great difficulty in the age of Satyu, the very first age, the best, through Dhyan, meditation on Bhagavad, on God, in the age of Treta Yuk, through Yajna, sacrificial worship to the Lord, in the age of Dwapa, through Puja, ritualistic worship to the Lord, is easily attained in the age of Kalyu, just by chanting his name. Just by chanting the name. Chanting the mantra. The mantra that's dedicated to the name. But they have to have the faith. Not just taking like a parrot. Jo mere bhakti hai. Wo paap mein hai. Man, tan. Indriyo se. Paap hai. Aur kuch kuch yaad nahi karte. लेकिन फिर भी वो लोभी है खाल है लेकिन अगर ये पंचक्षर मंत्र का जाप करेंगे भक्ति सहित तो सब दुख से दूर हो जाएंगे very important शंकर भगवान से even when my devotees those who love the love the Lord in the form of Shiv भगवान they say कि we love Shiv जी we worship this form they involved in sinful action. This is what this is what Kalyu is about. We are always thinking and doing wrong things. Sinful action. Which could not be expressed by mind, speech, and body and cannot be remembered. In spite of being blemished, denounced, ungrateful, as you said, Nimakaram. They cheat. They are greedy, evil minded. But they can be redeemed. Even such souls can be redeemed by reciting this Panchakshar Mantra with devotion, which relieves one from all pains and suffering. I'm trying to show you how great this mantra is, Om Namah Shivaya, and why we should chant it. Hey Devi, I have said that इनका नीच नीच से भी नीच स्वभाव हो हमारे भक्त का लेकिन वो भक्ति करेंगे मन से तो वो संसार को उतार कर सकते ये भक्ति की शक्ति है ओ कारस ओ देवी आई हैव डिक्लेयर्ड मेनी टाइम्स ऑन दिस आर्थ ही सेज इरिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ हाउ लो द पर्सन how sinful, how low, degraded they are. But if they are devoted to me, if they have love for me, bhakti, this is the power of bhakti. You have true bhakti, true love for the Lord, then you can become free from the bondage of this maya of this world. This is the power of bhakti. Fir Devi ne prashna kiya. Kya prashna kiya? पहले सुनेंगे नहीं। Then the baby again asks a question. We we'll get a question and we we'll never answer. Shiv Bhagwan goes to that.
शिव शंकर भोले भाले भोले भक्तों के रखवाले जाते हैं वो कैसे इस शिव मंत्र से इस अपन चक्षर मंत्र से कैसे मुक्ति मिल जाएगा 
कृपा करके बताइए the devi asks a question she says a person is fallen because he is following evil ways doing wrong thing thinking wrong thoughts and activities the deeds performed by a person is a cause for him to go to hell not the worst of hell laura bana then how can he be free from maya and not have to go to hell just by chanting this panchakshar mantra Tell me how this is possible, my Lord," she says. Bhagwan ne kaha ki he devi. Log jab tapasya yog bahut kuch karte hain. Shadir ko dukh dete hain. Pani nahi pite hain, hawa nahi khate hain. Lekin ye log ise tapas tapasya karne. जब करने ये सब करने से हमारे लोग को नहीं पहुंच सकते शंकर भगवान से जो देवी पीपल सफर देर बॉडी दू ऑल कैन ऑफ फास्ट ऑल कैन ऑफ तपस्या दे स्टॉप ड्रिंकिंग वॉटर सम इवन स्टॉप टेकिंग एयर दैट कैन ऑफ तपस्या दे परफॉर्म दे डू जॉब दे डू तपस्या और स्टेविटीज सम डू योग all kinds of things but even then they cannot go to my divine abode they cannot attain my divine abode not through these things lek agar wo log hamari bhakti karenge ek baar bhi bhakti karenge hamare is panchakshar mantra ke sath isi ke asar se ye maya ko paar kar sakte ek baar But Shankar Bhagwan says, with, if someone with utmost devotion, utmost love for the Lord, adores the Lord once even, ek baar, once, and because of the influence of this mantra, this Panchakshar mantra, they can become free from Maya. Imagine, someone has not stopped drinking water, stopped taking air even, that kind of tapasya, and yet gets nothing. And someone just loves the Lord with utmost love and devotion, and just once even surrenders to the Lord because of the influence of this mantra, Om Namah Shivaya. That faith, he can become free from Maya. Tusaraji says something. Actually, Kaab Basundi Ji. There's a section of the Ramayana called the Kaljug Mahima. Something very important. Which comes in line with this katha. Let's listen to it. Of the Lord, 
Shriji had given him a shrap. I told you, this katha is very famous. He neglected the Guru and went to Shiv. And Shiv got so angry. He put down such a shrap because that the Guru started to tremble with fear. The Guru begged and Shivji showered this kind of grace that you will have to go through everything but you won't feel it. It won't have any effect. He saw uncountable colleagues. And he says to Garuji, Ehi kali kaal na saad na duja, jog na jab tap brat makha puja. This age of kalyug is such is so bad. These things don't work in kalyug. Yog. I told you many times, people do yoga, that's not yoga. Yoga means yam, niyam, asan, pranayam, pratyahat, dharana, dhyan, samadhi. It's yoga. Can't do in Kali. Jap, tapasya, austerities, brat, fasting, mak, how, and puja. Kali yoga, yoga, and jagya, jnana. One cannot do yoga, cannot do yagya, cannot do jnana. Nothing in Kali yoga. So what to do? Ek Aadhar Ram Gungana. Kaak Basundiji says, many places in the Ramayana, one thing, one thing, chant the name of the Lord. And here also Shri Bhagavan is saying the effect. Because as I told you, God is sitting in the name. And this mantra is Shivji himself. This is a body of Shivji. Ye Shari hai Shivka. Inka Roop. बस लेकिन इसमें विश्वास होना चाहिए। We have to have faith. If not, if you just say the mantra, you might say, "But I say it a lot. I do a lot of jap. Nothing is happening because you don't have the faith." We cannot say the name. We cannot say the mantra like a parrot. You know, you have a parrot. If the parrot is in the home of a drunkard, alcoholic. And every morning the alcoholic gets up, he just curses, uses bad language. What the parrot will say? Ram Ram. And the home, the parrot is in the home of a devotee, a pundit. And every morning the pundit, the devotee is saying, Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Radhe Radhe. The parrot will say, Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Radhe Radhe. Oh, no. Whatever the parrot is taught, it will say. Not like that. With feeling, with love, with the faith that this is Shivji himself. Then you will see how much one Shivji says once alone. Ek ghari adho ghari adho puni me adho. But it has to be with faith. We don't have the faith. That's why you must say all the scriptures are saying this thing and I'm doing so much. Nothing is happening. Not, there's nothing wrong with the scripture. Everything is wrong with us. We don't have the faith. The problem. We don't, we don't have faith. So, so, so. Yes, yes, yes. So, so, so. 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 So, so, he says, therefore, so great is this mantra that no matter how much tapasya there is, there is yagna, there is brat, fasting, all kinds of discipline, niyam. Even one billion path of that, tapasya, whatever it is, cannot compare to one name of one time chanting Om Namah Shivaya. Cannot compare. So great. If only we understand and have the faith. That's all it takes. Just practice to have faith. We don't have it. I told you, uh, Gaurang Mahaprabhu says, Nam Nam Kari Bhavudha Nija Sarva Shaktis. God has taken all his power and put in the name. God is sitting in the name. Whether it's a mantra, whether you're saying Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, whether you're saying Om Namo Shivaya, Om Dum Durgaya Namaha, Om Ganganapataya Namaha, Om Hung Hanumataya Namaha, whatever mantra you're saying, 
whatever name of Bhagwan. But the faith has to be there. I told you, Shivji sits on Mount Kailash. What Mount does he say? I told you. He sits on Mount Kailash. All he says, Ra, Ra, Ra. That's the only one. There is no mantra which is more powerful or greater than God's name because God is sitting in the name. We have to have the faith, that's all. If you have to have the faith, that's all. Rudraho ya sarudraho arudraho bhaktaho abhaktaho murko nicho jitne giraho lake agar he devi agar go hamare bhakti karenge is panchakshar month ke saath to sab kuch mil sakte Shankar Bhagwan says to Parvati, whether someone is a devotee or not a devotee, he believes in God, doesn't believe in God. Doesn't matter. Whether he's a fool, the greatest fool, and the most fallen, no matter how low and fallen he is, how sinful, but he loves me and chants this, this Panchakshar mantra with love. Om Namah Shivaya, with the feeling and the faith that Shivji is in the name, he'll be liberated from Maya, he will attain everything. Itna hai, mahan hai ye mantra. Ab kya, iske zyara se kya bolne hai? Hamare sab bhakt, shrishth hai. इस पंचक्षर मंत्र के कारण क्योंकि ये सर्वश्रेष्ठ है। The Lord says, what is the use of talking so much anymore? I'm saying anything much more. All my devotees are very competent, they're very skilled. All because of this five-syllable mantra, which is the best of all mantras and the best and the greatest. ये पंचक्षर मंत्र का असर ऐसा है। कि जितना लोक है, जितने वेद है, ऋषि, धर्म, जितने भगवान हैं, ये सब इसी में स्थित हैं। How great is this Panchakshar mantra? This Om Namah Shivaya. The influence of this, that all the abodes, they are uncountable lokas. Uncountable. Sankhya chidra jasamasti na vishwa naam kadacha. Brahma, Vishnu, Shivadi, Naam, Tatha, Sankhyana, Vidyate. The Devi Bhagavad says, it is possible that someone may, may be able to count every single grain of sand on the earth. Impossible, but possible is limited. Yet no one can count how many worlds there are. How many solar systems. Is it the solar system we live in? Nine planets. Surrounded by the, the, the sun, surrounded by these planets, that's called a Brahman, a solar system. We live in a galaxy called the Milky Way. Even now, scientists are accepted there are thousands and thousands of solar system suns in this galaxy called the Milky Way, and every sun has a solar system. And the one we are in, the smallest one. The Brahma, who is the creator of this solar system we live in, Brahma with four heads. In the same way, they are Brahma with ten heads, twenty heads, hundred heads, thousand. The more the number of heads, the greater is that solar system. So they are uncountable. Tulsi Das Ji says, in the Ramayana.
प्रतिलोक विधाता भिन्न विश्व शिव मन दिशी राता मंत्र महा प्रलय के समय जब जितने जीव है चर आचर ये सब नष्ट हो जाते हैं और प्रकृति भी उसी पंचक्षर मंत्र में लीन हो जाते हैं टाइम ऑफ महा प्रलय सो दिस समय कॉल महा प्रलय कंप्लीट रेजोल्यूशन ब्रह्मा द एज ऑफ ब्रह्मा is 100 years not our time it's time 12 hours of brahma 4 billion 294 million and 80000 years our time is 12 hours this time is called one kal 14 man vantars so brahma lives for 100 years at present he is in his 50th year when he reaches 100 years his time 311 trillion and 40 billion years there's mahapralaya everything disappears only the lord alone remains everything gets absorbed into him there's different kind of pralaya there's yuga pralaya there's kalpa pralaya different pralaya so the world normally even you i told you there are four yuga satya Treta yuk, dwapar and kalyuk. This age, at the end of kalyuk, this world is going to become so evil, so evil. As I told you, no one will know long. There will no would have any belief in God. Everything is science. Science becomes God. People have no faith. Up to now, people, if honest, they tell you prove it. Prove how there is a God. How did the world come about? Big Bang. <laughs> Nobody believes God created the world. There was an explosion, and the world explosion makes death. We are not life. What do you believe it? All the children who go to schools, they are taught this, and they believe it. Every child will tell you, "You are wrong. I believe this." This is so put into their head. Any child you ask them how the world came about, they will tell you Big Bang, explosion. Because they don't believe that God can create this. So people will become so terrible that God will have to take a form. This is his, he takes a dissension, a special one, right? You know what he's called? Kalki. This is his dissension. He comes as Kalki. In India, people there are there are so many Kalki already. Everybody is a Kalki Bhagwan. Uh, it's crazy. Everybody tell you, and then people don't know, and they believe, and they go and worship. Arey bhaiya, Kalki Bhagwan doesn't come for bhakti. He comes for a special purpose to finish the age. He comes and destroys the age. And takes it. It is so bad. He finishes it and put it back to the top again. And Satyuk starts. And so Kalyuk just finish and Satyuk starts again. So they are different. This the dissolution. The, the, the world starts over. But Mahapralay is when the entire world absorbs into Bhagwan. Everything, everything is destroyed. And movable as well as immovable, all is destroyed, and even prakriti nature, what you call Maya, gets absorbed into God. So nothing remains except Bhagwan. Where do we go? We also merge into Bhagwan. We don't attain God realization. Remain pendant. When creation will come again, the same position that we were at that time when there was Mahapralaya, 
we start off from the same position. Somebody may say, well, we, get, we merge into Bhagwan. that's it, God realization. No. This Mahaprabhu, we start off from the same position. So all that gets merged into this Panchakshara Mantra. Now you might say, how does this Panchakshara Mantra? Because as I told you, this Panchakshara Mantra is Shivji himself. Don't apply this thing too much. Divine knowledge it just goes whoosh, over ahead. Because we have a material intellect. There's only so much we can understand. And beyond that, Dusidasi tells us in the Ramayana. Understand with the senses that we grasp with, they all my material belong into the material realm. And God is divine, the scriptures are divine beyond Maya. In other words, our material mind and intellect can never understand divine. To understand divine, it has to become divine when you attain God realization. For now, we just have to accept certain things. There are a lot of things in the world we accept. If you start teaching a little child about university, what you will learn in the university, the child will never understand. That all a child can understand two and two equal four. And that also, after a long time, the sort of knowledge only you can understand. A child wonders how both parents can be my mommy and daddy. How how can you be my how did how both of you are my parent? A parent will try their best to explain. If the greatest scholar in the world would to brought to try to make the child explain to make the child understand, the child would not understand. Instead, the child might like to think the parents are lying, because the dosh is something called a dosh. Dosh means fall of lust has not come in the mind of a little child yet. They can't understand. But if you say the stop or something, then they will say they will accept that. That's why we tell stories like that to the children. How did I come, mommy? Why the stop brought you? <laughs> they can't understand reproduction and all those things because it hasn't come. Later on, when they develop and lust comes into them, ah, oh, now I understand. So when, it, when even material minds cannot understand material knowledge, how can we understand divine knowledge? So certain things we have to just accept in the beginning. As you develop in your devotion, as you develop in your spirituality, things will get clear. Just like a child, as she gets older, the child gets older, and the lust will come, they understand Oh, I understand now. So also, as a devotee develops into in spirituality, as the mind becomes pure, the intellect becomes pure, knowledge will start automatically happen. You see, when you do bhakti, two things come. Bhakti ka do bachche do bhakti has two children. When you do true bhakti, two things will come automatically. One is bairagya, 
and one is gyan, detachment and true knowledge. This is a byproduct. Automatically, knowledge will come. You might say, I have read all the book. I, that's book knowledge. That's not knowledge. The, especially divine knowledge, spiritual knowledge, knowledge of who am I. How many times you have heard that I am the soul, the Atma? Do you believe? No. If somebody give you a good slap. No matter how much time you say, I am the soul, I am the soul, I am Atma, and somebody give you one slap. How dare you slap me? But you are saying you are the soul, eh? So that knowledge doesn't come by just reading the book. We have to realize it. Realize it. When you realize the knowledge, I am the soul, the Atma, then you can cut this body into small pieces. No problem. Because I'm not the body anymore. Nainam chindanti shastrani, nainam dahati pavaka, na chainam clear yantyapo, na show sheti maruta. The soul cannot be burnt, cut by any weapon, it cannot be burned by fire, it cannot be wet by water, nor dried by the wind, it is the same forever. It does not take birth, nor does it die. How many people say Gita shlokas? They know it by heart. Na jayate mriyate vakada chinnayam bhutva bhavitava na bhuya ajo nitya shashutu yam purano na hanyate hanyamane sharire Chapter 2 verse 20 Gita, the one before chapter 2 verse 23 Gita. This one is saying, the soul, the jivatma, who we are, does not take birth, nor does it die. No having come into existence as it ceased to be, because it is unborn, eternal, and most ancient. It is not destroyed, even when the body is destroyed. Many, many pundits, Babaji, Swami, they know this by heart, they can give lecture on it. And somebody died close to them. <laughs> Were you crying? You are teaching everybody that the soul is indestructible. No one takes birth, nor do they die. Why are you crying? Who has died? Well, I really don't know. I don't really have it. That's not knowledge. Anybody can read and give lecture. That's not knowledge. Knowledge means it has realized I am the soul, Atma, not the body. Then that is knowledge. Then you have acquired knowledge when the realization comes. Then no matter what happened to anyone or anything, nothing affects you anymore. Wow, it's a very high stage. We can understand. <laughs> Just giving you an idea. So, this is the greatness of name of God. Mantra of Bhagwan. But that faith has to come. That God and the name is one. When that faith comes, and the, you see, yes, we are chanting God's name, we are doing job, we are doing so much things. And we don't benefit. And we wonder why. Maybe the scripture is lying. Maybe all the saints and sages are lying because I, nothing is happening to me. I'm chanting so much because we are not doing it the right way. When the day comes, I, I said to you, if the faith, 100% the day you have faith that God is in the name. 100% that the name of God is one, that he's sitting in the name. Then one Radhe, one Krishna, one Shiva. And you will fall on unconscious. You will see she. One Om Namah Shiva. And you will see she. But that faith has to happen. Ah, it won't happen right away. We have to do sadhana. We have to do regular. Shivji says regular. Regular sadhana. Just like you eat food every day. To keep the body healthy. We have to do sadhana every day. Then you will benefit. Once a month, once a year, Panditji come and do a puja, I am good. Really? They need food once a year? No, I'm not saying anything wrong with Panditji come and do puja. Panditji say like, he want me to have puja now? No, no, nothing is wrong. But don't... Let Panditji come and do his, his the puja for you. But you have to do your sadhana. You have to do bhakti. You have to take some time from your life every day. And do sadhana. Do meditation. 
for the soul, the Atma. When we eat food, you exercise, that's for the body. People who are smart, they exercise at least half an hour every day to keep the body healthy. Right? They eat the right food. In the same way, when we do, when we meditate on God, we chant the name of the Lord with bhakti, with love. This is exercise for the soul, the Atma. This is food for the soul, the Atma, who we really are. That has to be done every day. There's much more we we'll hear another time. Bole Uma Pati Mahadev Ki Jai Har Har Mahadev Jai Jai Shri Ram.